Hello and welcome to another Carpet Life Tackle video. Um, so today's virtual tackle shop video um, is on our latest um, boxes that, that we uh, have in stock. Um, so we have two new boxes in stock. Um, we have the, the NGT XPR Plus box and then we just have the NGT um, General uh, five plus one tackle box So I'm just going to go through both of these quickly and uh, We'll we'll have a have a look as you can see. I haven't opened either of these so this will be First time me opening one So if you've seen my other videos, you'll have seen I've done one on the original XPR box and the mini XPR box. This is just a third box that's in the range. Um, and it's it's a sort of rig style box. Um, we'll just open her up. So, obviously the first thing you notice uh, different between the original XPR box and the XPR Plus is the bottom half is now a rig wallet um, for you to, to put your, your ready-made uh, rigs onto. You have a round bar at the end here for you to hook your hooks over and then some foam here for you to uh, keep them keep them out straight. And um, there's plenty of plenty of room on there for, for a fair few few rigs. Now the beauty about this box is you've obviously got the top part, the top section here is designed to keep all of your rig making bits in so you have a big central compartment uh, there where you can put your scissors um, you know any lines or uh, braids or, or whatever uh, whatever you want to uh, in there and then you have these eight um, eight smaller sections to put put things like swivels um, you know quick release swivels hooks uh, you can even put packets of hooks in the in there um, and it also comes with uh, with a little bag of, of pins as well to uh, to use with your with your rig wallet at the bottom there. Again, same as as the original XPR box. It's all held together with magnets. Um, you do have a ruler on the front here as well to help you help you measure out your your rigs as well. Um, and, and you can tell the difference between this one and the normal XPR. Uh, the normal XPR just has a flat bottom. This one has these these sort of round round bits there. They don't really make any difference to the to the design. It's just easy to to tell them apart. So that's the XPR Plus box. Again, they they feel very nice. Um, feel very sturdy. Um, and. Uh, yeah, they're they're nice little box. If if you wanna if you wanna have a rig box that's the same as your XPR box or your same as your um, quarter equivalent um, XPR box, uh, then then you can with 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 that one. The next one, as I say, is our five in one box. And if you don't like the XPR style boxes. And prefer something a little bit more traditional, um, a little bit more in the style of the original fox box from way back when. We all wanted a fox box, didn't we, when they first came out? Um, so this this is called the five in one, um, and uh, as you can see, I haven't haven't used one of these before because I don't know. Ah, there we go. Just just pulls open. And what do we get? So we have the box, which has got these two big um, compartments, and then it has adaptable, um, adapt adaptable smaller compartments. You get four of the things. But the reason why it's a five uh, five plus one box is you get these um, these four smaller boxes as as part of it, which sit in these. Um, and these are uh, confi uh, configured. I, 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 I think I don't know if they're all the same. Uh, basically, just six six little um, little containers there, good for putting swivels and things like things like that in. And then 
on the other side. Ah, these ones, these ones have got, uh, that one's got four. Um, that would be good for, for um, safety lead clips and things like that. And that one's got eight. So again, that one's better for sort of smaller items. So again, um, it's a, it's exactly you, you can actually rem if you don't want to have those in there, you can remove that that middle section there, and and you can have one long uh, one long uh, container there. If you don't want those small bits in there, and you want to turn this into say like you know, put forceps and things like that in. Um, you can either do that by taking taking the um, taking the two bits out the front there. It's just a just a good adaptable adaptable box. It's it seems fairly robust. Um, if you look after it, it's not it's not it doesn't strike me as something that's just gonna just gonna break on you. The hinges seem quite quite sturdy. They are all plastic, but um, seem quite quite sturdy. Again, you have a 18 centimeter ruler on the on the front to help you do uh to do rigs and yeah just a good general purpose box um they also do in the same style a seven in one box um which i actually have one myself but uh, and i've been using one for years and years and years um since the days uh they were actually theseus rather than um ngt um and uh i couldn't unfortunately I, I was planning on getting the seven and one boxes in but they, they they weren't in stock with my supplier um i will be getting those in uh next time i place a place an order uh i i like these boxes they're they're very uh, you know very cheap the xpr plus box there um comes in at 12 pound 50 um and the five in one box um comes in four plus one box sorry uh five in one comes in at seven pound fifty so um again very very cost effective brilliant for um for people new to carp fishing that that you know don't want to spend out you know forty quid on a on a fox box or or 40 quid on a on a quarter box um nothing wrong with with fox boxes and quarter boxes as i say back in the day everybody wanted a fox box um you know and the quarter boxes are are also very very nice as well um but yeah if, if you're new to new to carp fishing or just a little bit stingy like like myself and and prefer to spend money on you know big money on on um things i i deem as more important things that catch me fish um then then these are are perfect um and they go nicely with the xpr original box and the xpr mini box um and then these these ones are designed to fit in most most tackle bags are the same size as the fox mini um mini box uh, so they will go in most um tackle bag sort of side pockets and and things like that uh, again, if, if you enjoy my videos, um, please check out my YouTube channel um, and like and subscribe to that. All of the items, uh, as, as per usual, are available on www.carpylifetackle.co.uk. Um, and yeah, if, if you have any comments or, or, or anything, um, you want to know more information, um, then, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I know NGT stuff is not everybody's cup of tea. Um, if your comment is just going to be something along the lines of uh, NGT tackle is rubbish or if you buy cheap, you buy twice, um, then to be honest, everybody's read that on every other every other um, thing about NGT tackle. So, you know, it, it, there's there's no point, you know, you're everybody's entitled to their opinion. I, I respect people's opinions. Um, I use a lot of NGT stuff in my own fishing and um and to be honest a lot of it is is very good stuff um so so yeah uh, as i say um if you enjoyed the videos um then then i'm gonna keep making them um thank you very much for watching